Okay, so in this video, we're gonna cover how to laser cut an inventor file. You can see that I have inventor open. Your teacher may have also demonstrated how to properly place the material you're gonna be laser cutting and or engraving into the universal laser. And your teacher may have already explained how to turn on the fume extractor. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead from the home screen under file I'm simply going to select the open option. Your teacher may have already indicated where to find these files. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the top here. I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to start on this PC. From here, I'm going to be going to student public. I'm going to open up curriculum, open up Bolt Engineering and you would find your class folder. I'll use second period for my example. And within this folder, your teacher may have a dedicated folder for the final designs, which I have here. Okay, I'm gonna grab, grab the first one at the top, open it up. You should now see your design load. And as we've discussed in class, what is red will be laser cut and other colors could indicate engraving. So I'm waiting for this to load in the bottom left-hand corner. Once my design is loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and select the print feature. So under file, I'm gonna click on the print icon, just click directly on the icon. And we're gonna make sure that the name of the printer is called the VLS 3.50, which may already or already not be selected. And a very, very, very important piece to change. By default, your model will always be one-to-one -one scale. For our mock-up, we are gonna change it. This would remain for the final, but for our mock-up with our current project, I'm gonna change this to custom and I want to type in 0 0.5 or 0.5. Very important. And now you hit OK. Once you do this, you're going to be looking for the following icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This is the universal laser control panel. You're going to click on this little red square, click on it once. You can leave Inventor open. And here we have the interface. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is set up my material. So you'll notice there's a settings button. Once I click on settings, I'm gonna go, in this case, I'm gonna be cutting into what's called matte board. So for this project, I'm gonna be using under natural, I'm gonna hit the plus, I'm gonna select matte board. Once you can, we'll be laser cutting a variety of materials, but for this example and for this project, I'm going to be typing in a material thickness of 0 0.055. It is very important that it is typed in exactly like this under material thickness. Do not change anything else. Simply make sure that you're using matte board, the thickness is correct, and then hit OK. Now we're going to go ahead and situate our design in the upper left hand corner. So I want you to find these four little arrows called relocate view, go and select them. And you're going to highlight the X and Y and you're going to replace these with 0.75. Just highlight the current field and type in 0.75. Once you do this, go ahead and hit the enter key on your keyboard and you should see your image move to the upper left hand corner. There it goes. And now I'm actually ready to start laser cutting. Keep in mind, you'll notice that there's a big green play button. The reason this button is green is because the laser has been turned on. Once again, that was demonstrated by your teacher. Something else you need to make sure is that the fume extractor is also turned on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on right now and I'm going to hit the play button. So you might hear things get a little bit louder. 
I already have my material in place. The lid is closed on the laser. Let me turn the fume extractor on. There it goes. When I hit play, you will notice that the laser will actually start to move into position and you'll see it very quickly and rapidly start to cut the outline of your design. So what you see currently in red is a bit of a preview of what the laser is currently working on. It is very important not to stare at the laser for long periods of time when it is being used. Staring at it for a few seconds to simply make sure that the job is being carried out correctly is absolutely fine, but please do not stare at it for too long. So it is important to make sure that things do start, and once they do, you can simply look away and you can wait. You will see that we're coming up to just about 50 seconds, and this is a very quick laser cut design, which you'll see momentarily. It's gonna finish up. Once you do finish your job, we're going to be closing the Universal software and we're also going to be closing our inventor drawing. You can keep the project with a closed lid for about a minute before we then open the lid to remove the material. That being said, it can be a little stinky and we wanna make sure all the fumes are extracted. So do wait about a minute when the job is done to then open the lid with two hands and remove your project. Looks like it's wrapping up, cutting up the tail end by now, and you will know when it's done, the laser will actually turn off and move back to what we call its home position. So with that being said, looks like it's cutting the last letter. When we are done, we're gonna be hitting the close button here, and then we're gonna go ahead and close inventor as well. My job is done. I'm gonna go ahead and select close. I'm gonna go ahead and close inventor and wait one minute to then open the lid with two hands and remove your project and any other small pieces.